Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. This is the week leading up to us leaving for Japan and I'm very excited. It's a very big, um, exciting trip. So I, of course, had to pick up some things for the trip. Um, so we're gonna start this vlog off with a little unboxing um, to go through some of the things that I gra um, grabbed at some stores and also ordered online just for most of it was like want it's not necessary but um just to give you an idea of like some of the things we're bringing um and picked up and i'll also bring you along for some of the things that we are packing to give you an idea of what we're packing for two weeks um to go to japan but let's start with some unboxing let us just head right in there's one thing i just had i couldn't not use um before this video so i did a cult beauty order and i got this nars um it's a like a velvet lip pencil power matte high intensity lip pencil this is in cruella i think cruella yes a red lip i have a different color in this same formula and I really like it, I but I needed like a powerful color. I feel like it dresses up an outfit a little bit more. The other one I have is more of like a nude pink. So that's what I have on my lips today. I love it, makes your teeth look whiter. The only thing is it doesn't have like staying power. It's not like a stain, but to be honest, I if I had a stain one, I would probably mess it up and then I would look weird the rest of the day. So. Uh, I also picked up the NYX Brow Glue. And lastly, from Cult Beauty, I just picked up a little travel size of the lip injection. I, this one I got clear with the intention of like wearing it over this or that pink one. Um, and it's just in a little smaller package as well. So I got more of my cleanser, um, the CeraVe SA Smoothing. This, I almost ran out, so I'll pour this into like a little container to bring with. I wasn't going to bring a cleanser because I was like, well, Japanese skincare is is supposed to be really good. I'll just get some there. But I also would be nervous that I would pick something up and it would make my skin go crazy. So I'm just going to bring some of this. Uh, I also picked up some little pots uh, to put some things like the cleanser, shampoo, um whatever in these these are always good to have some melatonin uh must have for me to be honest um i'm actually i've never taken one on a plane yet but i'm going to try this on the plane ride this time because it's like 12 hours and i am notoriously a bad sleeper everywhere but especially on a plane like 30 minutes maybe so I'm really hoping that this is gonna like maybe help me a little bit and kind of adjust to the um, jet lag a little bit better so we'll see and lastly I just grabbed a mini toothpaste this is the same as the one I normally use okay so then I also popped into a few, I popped into Mango, um, Zara, and H&M. I didn't find anything good at Mango or Zara. Um, you'll see in the packing video, I'm packing super, super light, but I was just missing like a few, like one more like cute shirt and like another like light, light sweater because it's actually supposed to be quite nice when we're there. So I popped into H&M and actually found some bits and I wasn't actually going to stop in H&M. I was on my way to the bus stop and I was like, oh, I'll just pop in. Um, I wasn't feeling great about it because I didn't find anything good at Zara or Mango. But like within five minutes, like this was the quickest trip of me going in and out of H&M. It was less than 10 minutes total. And I found two things and tried them on and loved them. I mean, you can't get better than that. So I got this green top. I really love green and this can be dressed up or down but I was thinking more like dressed up a little bit and it's got these the like slits on the sleeves which is super cute and yeah I think it's real cute it'll go good with a blazer or just one of my 
shirts on top and then this i'm actually really excited about this it's just a really light white sweater and i wanted one to like drape across my um shoulders and something that wasn't super thick but still was like flowy um because i hate sweaters where they like cinch up by the waist and then i don't it doesn't it's not a good look on me um so this one is perfect and then i just popped over to the jewelry section grabbed like a dainty little gold necklace and then um some like fun gold bubble earrings um as well so first compression socks i'm not trying to have dvt the likelihood of that happening it was probably very low but um there was one time i can't remember where we were going i had cankles so i was like what is happening to my my legs it was the the weirdest thing so anyways i got murphy compression socks and i also got myself a pair mine just have blue on them so the other thing i ordered are these eye masks they get warm when they're exposed to air and i actually bought these when we were in singapore and loved them but i used them all up so i ordered these on amazon but i had seen a few different videos of people um talking about these related to flights because apparently that having the warmth on your eyes will help with the dryness so that your eyes don't get as dry and irritated and my eyes get crazy crazy irritated um even just like outside sometimes but like especially on flights it look i look crazy so i'm really excited to have these on the plane and then maybe i'll just put my like eye mask over too and that will maybe help me fall asleep we can only hope i don't know what this is Oh, it's the travel adapter. Oh, look, it comes in a little case. I got this one so it, it can go UK, US, um, or EU to whatever. Um, and you just move this thing for whatever plug you want. But this one has a like a main plug and then it has two USB plugs. So that's why I got that one. Okay, a power bank had to have that basically we are using our old phones because they're paid for and so we can use sims in them um and we're doing an e-sim but also they're older phones so the battery dies and a lot quicker so this was essential getting a power bank so and this one takes two so we can charge both of our phones at the same time or two things at a time which is really nice and convenient so and last but not least uh in this package we've got some new toothbrush heads uh for our electric toothbrushes these we just needed in general but figured may as well just grab them mine has been beeping at me for like a month now to change my toothbrush head finally we have my protein i did a little order on there for these clear whey isolates um this is kind of like a flavored water but it's protein um rather than bringing our protein powder that's more of like dessert um like the whey protein we have salted caramel and cookies and cream and for me i am not a um protein powder in water or milk alone type girl i just it's not good to me it has to be like a proper smoothie so i grabbed these because i i am still on the program while we are in japan um i'm not going to restrict myself too much but i do want to try and stay as close as i can on my macro goals and i ordered this one because it comes in individual packets now I just opened these and I was expecting them to be a lot smaller but this is one so it's I mean it's like as big as my head um, I thought it was gonna be like a, almost like a little tea packet but um, that's okay I also 
bought this because then I, I didn't I wouldn't have to like sketchily put protein powder in clear bags um, this is clearly this and it's not opened and yeah so I got these and I'm excited to try them I haven't tried them at all I believe it comes with 20 um, packets and I think there's two of each flavor and it's it I can smell them already and it smells so yummy it just kind of smells like crystal light um, so I'm excited to try those I'll have to provide an update when we're there but those are some of the things that I picked up for the trip that I was missing and see you tomorrow it is time to pack for Japan um, I have been kind of gathering piles of things over the week to just make sure I don't forget anything although I probably will forget something because that's just how it goes but let's pack a little bit um, this is all gonna be stuff going just in the suitcase I will pack my like backpack and stuff tomorrow morning because a lot of the stuff needs to be charged or I'm using up until we leave tomorrow pretty much so I think I have already mentioned I'm trying to pack very light. Murphy and I each are taking a the larger carry-on um, from away. We will check this bag, um, but we honestly just didn't want to lug around a huge suitcase. And also, we don't really need it. Um, I think I also mentioned we're going to do some laundry while we're there, so that should help. But first things first are packing cubes these are amazing they really just help keep organized and keep everything like compact and whatnot so let's dive in okay so i'm bringing two pairs of pants for sure like nicer pants so one set of like trousers and then my new jeans that i got from mango i've got my new white sweater that i showed you guys um my classic green shirt and then my like vest my like knit vest so those will pop in then i've got some base layers i've got a classic white tee um, i've got my skims pink tee to switch things up my new green shirt that i also showed you guys and then i got this um it's a, like a sheer polka dot a long sleeve turtleneck and I thought that would be a really great layering piece um, this I actually it's from naked but I bought it secondhand on vinted for like almost half the price so not that it was expensive to begin with but if I can get a deal I try my best also we do intend to shop when we're there um, especially Uniqlo we love Uniqlo and it's a Japanese brand and it's even cheaper there. It's already like pretty affordable, but it's even cheaper in Japan. So we'll probably stock up on some staple items there as well. But this combo honestly makes like many different um, outfits and uh, tomorrow's outfit will just kind of build on that so I'm bringing this sweater although honestly it might be too warm it's looking like it's gonna be pretty nice there like highs of in the 60s but I do have my classic sweater and I'll, I will wear my black turtleneck um, under that and then when I'm on the plane I'll take this off and I'll use this as a pillow because Air, the like wraparound pillows just don't work for me um, I prefer using like a sweatshirt or something and yeah so this is what I'm wearing tomorrow and then this way I don't have to pack my bulky sweater in there either okay so I've got my two favorite pairs of black leggings just kind of best to do the black ones and, okay and then for tops I'm just gonna do a basic black uh, tank top and then a green uh, Gymshark um, tee. Okay, and then in this, I will also put like my sports bras, my regular bras, my socks. I stuff into my shoes as many as I can fit, um, and underwear. And then I also have a belt. 
So I'll put this belt in there. So this one's not too, oh, my pajamas I'll have to put in there as well. But this, these are outfits for pretty much like 14 days. I mean, like I said, I'll probably buy stuff. But it fits super well in this. And there's still room. I could actually add more to this if I wanted. And I stick it, let me see. I stick it this way. I think a lot of, like, it seems like you put it that way. I try to s stick it this way so that I can have more space. Especially because this time, um, this time around, I did book a hotel with a gym. But I was just like reviewing all of my stuff yesterday and it seems that it's uh, they don't have any free weights which is a really big bummer for me and I also don't really want to pay 35 like dollars a day for a day pass at a gym and I don't have an anytime membership so I'm bringing my pro iron um, elastic bands that have the handles on them and they have different weights so it's not going to be the same obviously but it's better than nothing um, and for my program the weight training is more important than the cardio so I'm gonna try to do stick to this um, so this will add a little bit more volume in my bag but not too bad honestly I can still fit another like little square I'm also only bringing two pairs of shoes so I'm bringing my Adidas Gazelles. These are honestly just so comfortable and they go with everything. Protein packages that I got the other day, I'll bring these as well. And these I might stick in the zipper part here or somewhere in the uh, bag. And my creatine as well, that's in its own package. Um, but just to help me um, supplement my protein if needed. I'm not sure if I'll need it, but I'd rather have it available. Um, and they just seem like they'd be delicious anyway. So that is that. And I'll show you I am like all packed. I'll give you a little pan to see how everything fits. But I honestly think that I'll have like still have quite a bit of room. So that's uh, all for this part of the packing and I will add in any bits today if there are any otherwise I will check in tomorrow hopefully with uh, the backpack and like my purse and stuff so see you later. Officially, the day we traveled to Japan. Mm. Um, got up at like six this morning. It wasn't terrible actually. We went to no. bed pretty early. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I'm bringing on the plane. Suitcases packed. We both did really well actually. Like room to spare, which is shocking. Um, okay, so I've got my backpack. We've showed you these before. They're amazing. Um, I've already got my puffer jacket um, in the bottom bit here it's been quite warm and it's gonna be like fairly warm there so I don't think I'll need it um, and then I'm just gonna put my laptop in here as well um, and then I've got this little case with some charging bits I've got like a one of my phone cords and I'll throw this in there I won't probably need it on the plane so this is going in the overhead bin um, I also have this little container. This has, this is the pharmacy. Um, so I've got all my vitamins um, and random bits and bobs that I might need. Um, who knows, honestly. And it's better to have it than to not have it. So I've got melatonin, some stomach stuff, some nose stuff, you know, all the goods in there. Um, I have the little tripod thing on right now, but that's gonna go in here. Honestly, I think that's probably it for the backpack, not too too much. And then I'm also bringing this bag as like my personal item. 
and this has stuff that I'll want more accessible. I'll put this by my feet. So I've got, you know, my wallet, my glasses, um, the heated eye mask, some gum, perfume, hand sanitizer, uh, my lip mask, my eye mask, and my Kindle, and my headphones. And then I'll have both of my phones in here as well. If I haven't already mentioned the two phone thing, we have our regular phone and then we have our old phones that we own and we can put any like eSIM on there. So that's what we'll be using while we're in Japan. Um, mainly just for data and I don't really think we'll need to call. But <clears throat> if there was an emergency, I guess it would probably work still. Our phones? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, oh, and I always put a clip on the handle of my bags um, just in case. And I've got my hair tie. So I think that's it. I am just charging my other phone and my watch before we go and I'll add those and then we'll be off. We're catching the bus around 7.20 um, to the train station and then we have a direct train right to the airport, which is really convenient. So that's that. We are off to Japan in less than an hour now. So next video you'll see we will be in Japan, hopefully. 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 All right, we will see you in the next video really soon.